Well, I uh, got her almost back together now. Uh, got everything back in. She's all cleaned out. Uh, top to bottom. I had to take the whole everything apart. Uh, kind of everything completely apart just to get at it, everything. Uh, got the tank all cleaned out. Uh, still got to put the carburetor on. Got a couple of gaskets. There's actually a gasket on the other side of the uh, manifold here. Uh, I kind of tried to make one, but I, when I was going to get parts anyway, they're 90 cents, so I figured, well, not a big deal. So I needed a, a gasket for this side, gasket for the other side, and then I'll be okay at that point. Um, another thing that I had to get, and so I went to the supply house, and they don't have any of this stuff in stock. Some of these people don't even have it around anymore. It's a, uh, uh, you know, it's probably about a 10-year-old machine, roughly. And Shindawa isn't the uh, easiest to get a hold of. It's because uh, even the Echo um, distributors, they can't even get it, uh, even though uh, Echo is owned by Shindawa. So, I don't know, I'm saying that for one bit, but once I get the car on, and I can have all the other hookups here, um, got the handle on, got all the controls on here, got the adjuster handle, this is the uh, broom that's on there now, it's just a paddle set up on it, they actually do have one that's uh, brushes as well, uh, the brushes are actually uh, better for concrete by itself, if you're going to be moving like sand and all that other kind of stuff off of it. The, the paddles here actually are actually nicer, I think, my opinion. Um, you can actually put it on grass. It won't uh, mess up the grass at all. Um, even at golf courses, they'll use these things to uh, put the sand back in the sand traps. So what this basically does <clears throat> is it'll spin this way, okay, and it'll actually push the stuff away from you. So there is a guard that you can get. Well, it's about right here. And it's basically just a half circle. And that's just to make sure that uh, the stuff actually that uh, doesn't come back and hit you more than anything. Um, I've heard some people uh, say on different forums that uh, uh, these are great for snow. And I've heard other people say that uh, it's only good for maybe snow two to four inches. So I mean, that's just common sense. I mean, you can see these paddles are only about, what, two inches at the most. So... So I got the carb here, just waiting to get the uh, gaskets for it and everything. So that'll be all set to go. I had to get a new draw tube here. Um, so that way I can get into the tank, obviously. This one here came out in uh, two pieces, so this is what it is. Um, the other thing that I don't have yet that I need to get, obviously, is, uh, you know, out down here I'm trying to get it all cleaned up, obviously, still, but... Uh, that's obviously for your pull start and the pull start here I had it out part and everything I tried to get it a new part and I tried to finagle it and it didn't work obviously so I had to order this one but you can see on this side here there's this tab and this tab here uh, coincides with uh, this right here this part right here and it just hooks into there and there's the exact same uh, setup on the inside right down there so obviously it goes like this it goes the opposite way I have it just flipped over so one part sits right here and then the other ones right there you can see a little notch so this part here was snapped uh, obviously just from wear and tear so I tried to make my own one of these bends and I don't know what it is but I was thinking about maybe having to heat it up or something like that, but I couldn't get this thing to... It, every single time I, I swung it around and bent it, it just cracked on me. I, I, I even tried to make it as uh, fat as this one here, and it just cracked on me. So I don't understand exactly why, but, you know. So i got to have this. i got this on order. This one here is actually only like $7, so it's not a big deal. So when I get that, it'll be okay. The um, The other thing is... The gaskets are 90 cents. Again, not a big deal. Um, for some reason, I thought that I was missing the screws to hold in the carburetor. And, you know, so I ordered them. They're only 90 cents. And lo and behold, they were sitting right here on my air filter. 
I completely didn't even think to look for it. So I got those two regardless, but so I'll just put two new ones in here as long as I got them. Hold on to the old ones just in case for anything else. So, so once I get that, uh, they what is it? I ordered it today, so say Saturday. So hopefully they'll have it um, Wednesday, Thursday, or something like that, so I can hopefully get it fixed and up and running before the the weekend, basically. But uh, so I ordered two gaskets, one for the inside, one for the outside. Um, the screws, obviously, to the carburetor. The uh, this guy here, your uh, starter starter recoil, basically is all it is. And uh, something else, and I can't remember. Oh, the tube here, the tube here for the uh, for the tank. So I'm just going to put it on in there. They actually have it said it's supposed to have a filter on it and everything, but I've never had filters on half the stuff anyway, so I'm not concerned about it. And it's not like I'm running bad gas onto it or anything else like that. But uh, this so far is the uh, Shindawa PB230. Hopefully she should be up and running here in the next couple days after I get all that stuff. I uh, just want to get her all done and ready before snow starts hitting. That's the main objective more than anything. So, you know, when I was at the supply house uh, today, the I actually took a look at a couple of things. And they don't have the power broom itself like this as one setup. Uh, they have the PB1, or the, I'm sorry, the... Uh, pass which is the professional uh, attachment system or something like that and it basically uh, comes about right here and they slide on there's another little coupler I have it on my uh, weed whacker I have the pass set up it's an echo though so I was actually trying to hopefully just uh you know possibly get it to go but the gears even in the gearbox down here uh, they're still in a more of a star pattern or gear pattern, I suppose, and the uh, echo is still just square, so I, I, I couldn't even do it, but this is all the crap that I dug out of, you know, thankfully I got all this crap, and this is actually inside and all over, you know, it, I have to say it was probably a good thing that I did all that, because if I would have just tried to put it together and go from there, I think it would have had more of an issue, so... This is it so far. I hope to have this thing all set up and gone and ready to go, you know. And uh, anybody that's looking, uh, they don't need to do carburetors or whatever else. If you can find this, I found it at uh, Farm and Fleet out here, which is a uh, supply house for a variety of different things, you know, just regular store. But this uh, carburetor cleaner here, this parts cleaner, is actually pretty freaking awesome. You, uh, It's set up as a it's, let me see if I can get it off of here real quick. Um, it's just a paint can is basically all that it is. And, you know, that's what it looks like at least. There's actually carburetor cleaner in here. So if anybody's ever redoing the carburetor or whatever else, I did use this a few other things on this just to get it soaked down. But inside, you lift it up and... You can see it's almost like a, a deep fryer set up in there. And you just put your stuff into it and it just dip it. And it's really nice because you're not going to lose your stuff. And so, like when I rebuilt the carburetor on my snowblower, this was perfect. It just was fantastic. So I do recommend something like this if you guys are doing it. Because if you get it in the can, it's only so much. It's only about $9, $10. So it wasn't even that much money. I bought this last year. And it's still good for, you know, as long as you keep it sealed up. I can't see why it wouldn't be good for a while. So, that's all I got for now. And, uh, hopefully we will be done here the next couple days with this. Cheer